Trademarks are more important than ever in the internet age, and that requires businesses and organizations to be more proactive about protecting their brand. This introduction is designed to answer common questions about how trademarks work, how to register a trademark, and other useful information to get you started on your way. Do you need to hire a trademark agent or lawyer? Registering a trademark is a complicated and time-consuming process. That's why the Canadian Intellectual Property Office, or CEPO, recommends hiring a registered agent. A good trademark agent will support you every step of the way. And if you're planning to register your mark in other countries, such as the US or the UK, CEPO strongly advises hiring an agent because it can make foreign registration a lot easier and less expensive in the long run. Hiring a trademark agent will save you time. A good trademark agent will monitor all government correspondences, ensuring you provide timely and correct responses to the CEPO office, leaving you time to run your business. It'll save you money, weak applications will be rejected, and you'll have to repay all the fees when you reapply. If you've already started using your trademark, you'll have to create new branded supplies like stationery, websites, and business cards. A good trademark agent will make sure your application is strong from the get-go. It'll save you trouble. Weak trademarks leave you vulnerable to legal issues such as cease and desist letters and court action. A good trademark agent will help you to do it once and do it right. In Canada, there are a number of different types of trademark registration services on the market and it can be confusing to choose the right one for your needs. Here's an overview of service types to help you figure out what's best for you. There are two classes of professionals qualified to help you register a trademark, trademark lawyers and trademark agents. Both must have significant expertise in trademark law in order to be listed as registered trademark agents with the Canadian Intellectual Property Office. The main difference between a trademark lawyer and a non-lawyer trademark agent is the lawyer has graduated from law school and is a member of the bar. This means that a trademark lawyer can provide more services than a trademark agent can. For example, a trademark agent can draft and file a trademark application and correspond with the trademark's office on your behalf. A trademark lawyer can do all of the things that a trademark agent can do and more. A trademark lawyer can negotiate contracts for you and represent you in court, while a non-lawyer trademark agent cannot because they're not lawyers. Importantly, a trademark lawyer can also provide you with legal advice on how to avoid common trademark problems. She or he can review your application for obvious flaws, advise on the strength and suitability of your trademark, scrutinize the description of wares or services to be used in association with the mark to ensure that it complies with the CEPO standards. A third type of service is what we call a trademark filing service. These services are usually advertised at very low cost. A filing service is a limited service in comparison to the services provided by a registered trademark agent or lawyer. Typically, these services do little more than submit a form for you. You fill in an online form provided on a website and they submit it to the trademarks office for you. These filing services do not draft your application and correspond with the trademarks office on your behalf and they're not authorized to provide legal advice. A well-priced registered trademark agent who is also a lawyer is the ideal choice to ensure that you have the strongest trademark possible. You can find more information on our website. If you have a specific question, we're always happy to answer.